it's it kind of having to know the characteristics of metal. Aluminum's the same way, it's a very good heat conductor. So you'll stay in one place, it'll just take longer and more power to get it going. But then once you get it going, you actually, the rest of the time, you're letting off the, you're letting off the gas, taking power away. But once it's hot, it actually starts looking quicker. So it's, that's the that's the finessing of different metals you'll kind of learn from doing it. That makes sense. Um, it can be used on, um, excellent on very thin materials. It's the only process I know you have complete control of the amount of energy coming out. It's that gas goes just like your car. The more you step down on it, the more energy comes out. The you back off, the less. You can get down to thinner metals. You can set that machine at 50 amps and still have the whole pedal to control from 0 to 50 amps. So you have any variation in between. Bigger metal, you can set it to 200 amps, and then you go from 0 to 200. Are you going to tell us, like... What thicknesses require what amps? I'll give you some ideas, yeah, and I'll kind of show you. We're going to be playing with pretty thin stainless, so it, once you weld this, I think you can weld anything. So it's kind of nice. It'll be a little difficult in the beginning, but once you figure this out, everything else will be easier. Steel is much easier to weld than stainless. I think stainless is probably one of the hardest to, to actually weld. Um, but once you get it down, it'll make everything else easier. The only thing that stinks about steel is the prep work. If you buy hot rolled steel, which is the normal steel you'll find in orchard or any place like that, it's black. It's got a mill scale on it, you gotta clean that off. So you end up have to grind it until it's shiny. If you buy the cold rolled stuff, which will pay one and a half times lower, you don't have to you can brush it a little bit and weld, but you pay a lot more money for the steel. So it's kind of a, uh, let's see, next page. Fusion autogenous welding is possible, that's what we talked about. No slag, no spatter at all. There is no nothing that, that comes off of it. That's why I'm telling you you can wear this kind of shirt, no big deal. No, there's no slag or spatter at all. High efficiency, we're talking about there is how much, when you put the energy in, it's really, really focused. You're not heating up a big area of the metal, so you can do very little heat zone. So it's really efficient on this piece of energy. It's very, very focused. That's why you can get away with thin stuff and really precision. Yeah, when you say energy, are you talking about amps? Yeah, it's all just right where you want it over. It doesn't, doesn't take a large area of heat. It's just very precise. Pretty much within the diameter of the tip? Mm-hmm. Yeah, real small. Something else about the tip, too. The tip is going to be like a spray can. When you normally spray paint, if you get real close, it makes a small dot. And as you pull it away, it fans out. The exact same thing happens with the torch. You want to keep it as close as possible and pinpoint the energy. Because that's the whole concept of this. It's really close and the least amount of heat necessary to weld it. If you pull it away, or what they call long marking, it will fan out and you will lose the torch. So the whole trick is kind of getting used to keeping it nice and steady in the same height all the way down. Okay. Do you increase the chance of uh, the Porosity? Porosity. Porosity. Further away or You just lose control of it. You'll start seeing electricity jump everywhere instead of being right where you want it. Because electricity will start getting kind of crazy. So you just lose control. If you're, you said you rest your hand down? Or, mm -hmm. Right? Well, if you're resting your hand down, aren't you moving it over the welds you just did? Yeah, it's a little hot sometimes. Okay. But if you think about it, you're holding it here, your welds here, I'm my hands over here. Okay. So I'm sliding it down the weld like that. Copper, you might be a little uncomfortable, it might get hot. But you can also rest your head up. If you can, you can also rest your arm on the table. You can slide your arm lightly. Okay. You just have to find little tricks to make yourself comfortable. That's kind of the key. Some of the limitations, and some of these are no longer accurate. Portability. TIG machines not that long ago were all like these. They were all 250 pounders, 300 pounds, 500 pounds. These are all coils and transformers inside of these machines. This machine here is all digital electricity. So what my use is my example here. This is like a jukebox, and this is like an iPod. They both do the same thing. But this is, well, the technology, these things are well great, but the new ones like your iPod. So you can put a thousand pounds on that, but it weighs 500 pounds. It's the same thing there. So they're both very similar. This is like digital, and this is like analog. So that's basically the difference. The huge difference is my machine weighs like 35 pounds. It comes with a shoulder strap. You can hang it over your shoulder like a satchel. And they use that to weld um, like boiler tubes and stuff like that in power plants. So they'll actually take that hang on their shoulder, plug in their power source, and walk in there, and they can walk right to where they want to work. So it's kind of changed the industry a lot. You can take that and walk into a um, restaurant and weld it in the table. So it's changed. It wasn't there before. Um, you can probably buy that cheaper than you can buy that, though. <laughs> That's so it's yeah. pretty expensive right now. How much are um, those? Um, the one we bought. I bought a mill and just like this at work, and I think it was um, right around 2100 You can also yeah. get rebuilt ones from uh, Ready Arc. Mm -hmm. here in, uh, and you can actually buy one that are 20 years old and they'll still work as good as the name. They'll 
last one was definitely. Nice thing about